Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a whoop or a womp on the new Revlon Professional Blending Sponge. Ooh la la. So if you didn't know, Revlon came out with a professional blending sponge. So I was browsing around Ulta and I was looking through the new products that were launching and I love looking at the new drugstore launches because I feel like there's so many right now and a lot of drugstore brands are killing it. So then all of a sudden I saw this contraption right here and I was like, what is that? I want to know. So when you get the product before it's completely open and annihilated, this is what it will look like right here. And then it comes with a replacement head. And then it was already attached to the wand. On the side it says airbrush effect right there. And this is what it looks like. Has Revlon right there in red. And it's basically just like this tool that's kind of pointed as well, just so you can have like a nice grip. And then here is the replacement head right here. And I was really happy there is one. The way that you kind of detach this is that there's these two little things right here. You just push them in. And I will say it's a little bit, it's a little, the F. It's a little difficult to get out right there. But the good thing is, is when you put it in, you don't have to like match it up anywhere. You can just shove it right in and it is good to go. So whenever you're switching, it's just like sometimes when you first get it out, it just depends. It gets stuck sometimes. So first off, this retails for $10.99, which wasn't a bad price if you think about it because you already have a replacement head. It says that you replace a sponge as needed or every three months. So then when I purchased, I actually already ordered replacement heads and it came with the same one right here and then a new one and it came with a rounded one. Back of the packaging, it says that the pointy one is a precision sponge that's best for all over application and blending. And then the rounded one is a correcting sponge that is best for correcting and blotting. When I bought the replacement heads, these were $6.99. So $10.99 were the same replacement head. I did find it a little bit weird that when I did get the first package that it didn't just have this head right here. And then also a different one, the rounded one. So if you think about it, it's kind of annoying, but it is a selling tactic where they're like, hey you need more brush heads this one has a round one but ideally I think it would have been a little bit better deal if I would have had the pointed one and then the second replacement head would have been a rounded one just so I can see which one works better for me and just to try the two different heads now when I was looking for the prices right now how I paid $10.99 and then $6.99 I went on also right now just so I can make sure I was saying the right prices and I noticed that they have a new head I'll just put it right here. Which is $7.99 and it's only one head, but it's a four in one. Ooh. I don't know, I just thought it was kind of weird how I got two different separate heads for $6.99 and then the other one that's just a single head, four in one, is $7.99. Okay, so now let's talk about application. So when I first started using the sponge, I was like, okay, let's use the head that it came with. And I wanted to actually use the rounded head, which was in the extra package. I was like, let's not open that first. They put two of these heads in the main package for a reason which I thought, let's use this for my foundation. So I started like putting the foundation all over my face. I started looking at it and I was like, okay, let's use like the more rounded side. And I started going like this. I'm like, wow, this is like covering no area. I'm going to pounce my face for probably about 15 minutes. Then I noticed, okay, let's just kind of switch it around and do the flat side. But no, now since this is pointed and has more of a slant, I noticed that it was leaving marks like lines on my foundation where I was pouncing the sponge at. So I was like, okay, let's go back to the rounded side. I was like, man, this feels kind of tough because if you look at the sponge, it isn't really the squishiest. It is pretty tough all around. And then I was thinking, well, it doesn't say to wet it. So then I tried to wet the sponge and it didn't really do anything for me. It still stayed pretty tough. All right, this isn't really working. So I kept trying to use it and I noticed that this sponge started soaking up a ton of product as well. It really wasn't dispersing it like how a beauty blender does when it is wet. I feel like the beauty blender does soak up some product, but not a ton. I feel like it just lays out everything like super nice and then this one it was just soaking it up and it just felt like I was just pouncing for nothing. So then after I just went ahead and just did my regular foundation with my brush and my or my sponge that day because I have used this for like about a week trying to figure this thing out. So I made sure I gave like a proper like whoop or womp on it. I was like, okay, there's a slant. Let's use this baby for some concealer. So I placed my favorite concealer, started pushing the product in. I was like, oh, okay, it's looking pretty good. But still with this point, I kept seeing lines just because this is so tough. So it does leave demarcation um, line. So whatever I went over, I had to go over again with my beauty blender. So it was basically like I was doing double the work and it just didn't work out. Okay, screw this head. 
Let's move to this one now. Switch to the sponge, and I will say I did prefer this one for the foundation, but again, it's not covering like a lot of area, and it's not really the softest sponge, so I feel like I'm like, I'm stamping my face. So then when I switched to this one, I was like, all right, this one is the one that's giving me the more seamless effect, but it's still pretty tough. Let's try to wet it. It did nothing. And again, it was just soaking up product. And then I tried to wash it so that it didn't look so nasty in the video. And one thing that I did realize is when I was washing it with my cleanser, I used the Beauty Blender Solid, it was washing all the way out. But if you think about it, a lot of gunk is probably at the bottom underneath here because it's just settling in and soaking in because I can't reach that portion. So you can't thoroughly clean this product all the way around, only on the outside. So I can see why they would say replace it after three months. I can only imagine if this was like the tool you're using every single day, what it would look like, which is probably why they say change accordingly or change, you know what I mean, as often as you need to. So this must be a super short video because I think it's pretty obvious this product is a wall. I don't really care for the handle. It's not really doing anything for me. The switching of the sponges, I guess it's kind of cool, but I wish that they would have had a pointed and then a rounded in the main package. And then to sell that extra head with the four and one for $7.99, I don't know. It just seems like a lot of money is being accumulated when in the end, you might as well just buy the $20 Beauty Blender, aka Booty Bender. Get your money's worth, have that sponge last for a pretty good long time, and you're gonna have seamless makeup with it, because that sponge is bomb. Or whatever sponge works for you, I just personally love the Beauty Blender, but yeah, I don't know. I don't think that this was a good product. I think it is too tough on the skin and face, and you will be pouncing for days. All right guys, well that is it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I just wanted to make sure to do a video on this, because I feel like this is one of the things where people love buying new tools or sponges or trying new things and this unfortunately was a waste of money so I would just skip out on this again let me know down below if you've tried this product and it's worked for you personally I just don't see anybody getting any good use out of this all right guys well that is it for my review I hope you guys enjoyed I personally am a Revlon makeup fan but when it comes to these tools I'm just not so I would just stick to the makeup so I love you guys so much don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one Mwah.